home with the win tonight. Night three of the rockauto.com Winter Nationals for the Neesmith Smith Late Models. Keith Nosbish out of Alrico, Florida. And a lot of you watching this around the country probably going, Keith, who? I want to tell you about this guy. I've known this guy for 30 years, announcing down here in Central Florida. And a lot of the top dogs in the country have come down here to Florida to race Keith Nosbish. And a lot of them have told me, Keith, that if you had just traveled the national tours and all that, that you're probably one of the best race car drivers in the country. Uh, well, you know, I won my share of races and stuff, but as far as a race car driver, I don't think I'm very good as a driver, but I'm pretty good at setting a race car up. And I think that means a lot anymore. Before, you know, we were always throttle jockeys and, and, and just in the throttle hitting them cushions and stuff. And that's the way it was, you know, the whole time I was coming up through the supers. But now it's got more into a finesse deal, and boy, if you you miss a setup, you're you're done. I mean, you just you're two tenths behind. So I think I'm better chassis uh, man, or, or I'd probably make a hell of a crew chief for somebody. Well, Keith, I know that uh, down here in Central Florida, when you pull into the pit area, you're always one of the guys to beat, and won many many races down here. And you know, you kind of said the key to it that uh, you've become a finesse race car driver, and tonight. You showed that finesse out on the racetrack because you just uh, did what you had to do to stay out front. I mean, early it looked like you were trying to check out, but once you got into that lap traffic, they were able to reel you in. Well, the lap traffic, you know, if you look at the time sheet, some guys was maybe a half a second slower than we were. So when we caught them, it was one of them deals where you pick and choose where you go. Arthur got around me on the outside, and I knew if he tried to stay up there, I'd probably get back under him on the bottom as long as I could move the, the lap cars out. So it worked out. I mean, and it was one of them deals where you, you, you know, it kind of turned into a one group racetrack. It started out, it was pretty good. But that's the way racing is down here in Florida. Sometimes the sun gets on the racetrack and it makes it so it's hard to get, you know, multiple grooves and everything. Well, Keith, you got a good seat for tomorrow night $10,000 to win, 100 laps. The a 10th annual Chevrolet Performance World Championship race. Uh, what are your thoughts going into that race tomorrow night? Tonight was 50 laps, double the distance for tomorrow. Well, I think I think we're pretty good. We're starting ninth. We got we got down here in November and we got in in our heat race with Ronnie Johnson and Daryl Lanigan and and uh, we had Jonathan Davenport. So we had we had the toughest heat of the all night. So we were I ended up running third and we were third fastest overall. So just being in a, in a hard heat made it harder for us to get there but i think if he cuts if he cuts them ruts out of the place tonight and gets it where we got some moisture where we can race around the racetrack i think we can come to the front i mean uh, my image skincare rocket and with genesis shocks and and uh outlaw racing fuels i mean i think we're pretty fast enough we just gotta show it tomorrow keith nosbish remember that name if you're listening to us from around the country and watching us because he's going to be one of the contenders tomorrow night in the 10th annual Chevrolet Performance World Championship race, picking up the win to tune up for that event tonight. Night three for the rockauto.com Winter Nationals for the Neesmith Chevrolet Dirt Late Bottle Series at Bubba Raceway Park.